Well, my name is Carl Felstrom. I'm the owner of the Galactic Boutique. What's going on in the Galactic Boutique? What is this place? Our um, motto is new departures of modern home accessories and fashion. So we have um, everything from home accessories, pillows, candles. And we also have um, a whole line of independent designer fashion, uh, local and international. And then we have um, a full gallery in the back, so we have rotating art shows. So it's all encompassing. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I One thing I know about this place and I think is very unique is that you make a lot of the products, right? You bring yeah. your artistic background into the business. Well, I got my degree in uh, drawing and painting. I took the easy way out. Um, <laughs> and then I just started making stuff. And um, now we've totally blown up with all this you know, awesome product and whatnot. Um, so the store has changed a lot in the past two years. Let's talk about that for business because, okay. you know, it's hard for businesses to stay in business, keep the customers coming, keep the money coming. I notice that you're really good about trends. Like right now, kind of going green is really popular and people are trying to jump on that bandwagon. Totally. How do you stay on top of the trends in retail and, and be sure that you're kind of going in the right direction? We try to be as exclusive as possible and I think technically only there's like a handful of like five or ten products that you'd find ar around in the Washington area. And uh, just in Capitol Hill, you won't find hardly anything. All our new products for spring are all very eco-friendly. Like we have these 100% recycled cardboard safari animals. And oh. that's totally cool because it doesn't kill any animals. And it's recycled cardboard. And uh, other things like um, this right here, it's uh, called I'm Not a Paper Cup. Looks exactly like a commuter cup or something that you buy at a coffee shop but it's ceramic with a um, silicone lid. So it is uh, eco-friendly because you can reuse it. And it's hella funny because I put it on the counter and I was like, oh, I want some coffee. And I, there was a whole bunch of them. I'm like, wait, which one's mine? <laughs> I couldn't even remember which one was mine. So that's also really funny and popular for a novel standpoint, but also good for the environment. We do have a lot of um, humorous or sometimes racy products. Um, me as being a very extroverted person, I would say, um, and also very funny, as people will say I am. Um, I wanted to try to push the envelope, kind of. Like, I really think it's, I've worked for corporate retailers, and it's not as fun. Here, it's, um, uh, I have lots of fun with um, the products, and also the signage, like on the sign, I'll put like, dude, you should totally buy these, or I'll swear, like, this is hella cool. Um, and so, and actually that makes people remember the store because they'll be looking around and think it's just a regular store. And they'll be looking at the sign and they'll be like, oh, this is hella funny. So they'll remember not only the product, but the signage and how much it is. So that's cool. But since we also um, uh, are a gay owned and operated store, we do have a lot of um, homosexual inspired products. And so super hot. Um, and we don't hold back on that. There's like lots of risque and pornographic images um, and lots of books we have like books on um, just novel sex books I guess so um, it's a good mix of uh, <laughs> of racy products as well as um, just like crazy fun random stuff so you have a very interesting product in your store named Cuddles Oh, yes. And only, I think, retail stores can get away with this. But tell us who Cuddles is. Mr. Cuddles is my little poodle. <laughs> he's actually the store mascot. I love um, Some people just come in to pet Mr. Cuddles because he's so soft. So oh, tell me about that. Does that help your business, having a little mascot, having a, an animal in the store? It actually does, which is weird. Um, he is famous. We were featured in a magazine, um, Seattle Magazine. And uh, now when I walk down the street without Cuddles, they're like, where's Mr. Cuddles? And I'm like, I don't even know you. So people know Cuddles, <laughs> for the, and they represent the store. So he's actually a good store mascot. He's on our website and says, I love GB, like for Galacta Boutique. And the window says, beware of poodle. And everyone's like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a real sign. <laughs> you weren't kidding. Um, but it is helpful to have someone recognizable and so cute. So other, than, other than myself. Exactly. Yeah. Other than yourself. Yeah. <laughs> when you 